Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer files between your Windows 11 operating system and a remote server. So let's say you have a Linux machine which is running remotely and you want to transfer file from your uh, Windows operating system to that machine or if you want to transfer file from your remote machine to your Windows operating system how you can do it using SCP command. SCP stands for Secure Copy Protocol and it's a protocol which is uh, popularly used to copy your files between two different operating systems. So now Windows also supports SCP commands by default. So when you uh, open PowerShell on your Windows operating system, so let me open the PowerShell uh, command line utility just search for powershell and it's going to open this kind of uh, uh, terminal and let me open a remote machine so let's say this is my remote machine on this machine i have open ssh server running and this machine also supports scp commands right so the only thing which you need to transfer files between your Windows 11 operating system and your remote operating system is the IP address of your remote operating system. So I need to know the IP address of my remote machine and the username of your uh, remote machine. And you should have the password for logging into your remote machine if it requires uh, some kind of password to transfer those files right so this is my remote machine on the right hand side this is the powershell which is available on windows 11 if you run scp command on uh, this powershell and then press enter and if you see this kind of usage uh, help output then the windows supports scp so as i said it comes uh, by default with PowerShell on your Windows 11 operating system. Now to know the IP address of the remote machine on my remote machine, I can just write if config. It can be your cloud remote machine. So um, the procedure will be same. Right now I'm just running this remote machine virtually um, on VMware, for example but this can uh, be available on uh, some cloud platform, for example, AWS or uh, Google Cloud platform, right? So this is the IP address, right? And username is code bind in my case. It can be uh, different in your case. So you need to know the username and the IP address, right? Now, what files you want to copy so you need to go to the folder where your files are available so first let's try to transfer files from your windows 11 operating system to this remote machine right so you need to know the source and destination also so first of all let me uh, just go to my uh, pictures folder and here i have some pictures right so you can see there is this uh, folder with some screenshots and then I have few different pictures here right and I want to transfer let's say first of all this sample onejpg file to my remote uh, server so let me just do that so let me create a new directory on my remote server so I'm going to just write mkdir and then I will uh, just name my uh, folder as windows right and then I'm going to cd into windows so as you can see, there is nothing in this Windows folder. So now I want to copy the sample1.jpg file on this remote machine from my Windows operating system. So I can write SCP, then your file name, which you want to copy, then write the name of your file. So my file name is sample1.jpg. And then you need to write the remote server destination so first of all you need to write the username so just write uh, username first so code bind 
is the username at the rate IP address. So IP address is this one in my case. You need to know the IP address of your remote machine in your case also. So 192.168.152.128 in my case, right? Now after the IP address, just give this colon here and then the path where you want to transfer your file on your remote machine. So the path is this one. So PWD, I want to transfer the file to this path, home forward slash code bind forward slash windows, right? So just give the same path here, home forward slash code bind in my case, and then windows. Okay, so give the full path of your destination. So basically we are trying to connect to our remote server using username and password. And then we are giving the path of uh, the destination. So this is the source which we want to copy to the remote destination, which is this path here. Let me just press enter. And then it's going to ask you for your remote machine password. So this machine have some login password, right? So give that password here. I'm going to give that password and then press enter. And then this file will be transferred. So now when I see here on my remote machine, when I do ls, this sample1.jpg file is available, right? Now, if you want to transfer multiple files, then you just need to give the name of multiple files. So I have already given sample1.jpg for example, I want to also transfer sample2.jpg, right? So I'm going to just write sample2.png. So you can see the extension of sample2 is png. So I can do that once again. And then once again, I'm going to press enter. Once again, provide the password. And this time both files are transferred. And when I do ls, I can see both files here. Now let's say you want to transfer a directory instead of files, you want to transfer directory. So this is a screenshot short directory in my pictures folder, which contains some images. So I can uh, just give this command instead of uh, writing this SCP and then writing the file names, I can give the directory name, which is screenshots in my case. So PowerShell adds these dot backslash, you don't need that. So just give the name of your directory as I have given here. And because this directory contains multiple files, you need to give a flag, which is hyphen R. Hyphen R stands for recursive copying, for example. So because we want to transfer all the files from this directory, that's why we need to give this hyphen R flag here. Okay. So let me just press enter once again, give my password once again, and then press enter. And you can see all the files inside my uh, screenshot directory has been copied to my remote server. So when I uh, do ls here, I can see this screenshot directory, which is created here. When I go to this uh, screenshot directory, I can see all the files which are copied. So you can see all these files uh, are copied to my remote server, okay? So this is how you can copy from your Windows operating system to your remote machine. Now, if you want to transfer from your remote machine to your Windows uh, operating system, the procedure is also simple for that. So let me go back and on my remote machine, let me clear the terminal and let me do ls and on my remote machine, let me create a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, write echo and then I'm going to just write world here. And then I'm going to just pipe the output to some file test.txt, for example, right? And then I'm going to just press enter. Basically, this command is going to create a test.txt file with this text inside it. So when I just uh, write cat test.txt, it has this text here, right? I want to transfer this test.txt from my remote machine to my uh, 
Windows 11 operating system. So to do that, let me just clear the terminal here also. And let me show the files inside my pictures directory. You can see there is no test.txt here. So in order to copy this, the command is similar. So here, after SCP, you need to write the source and then space the destination, right? So first, when we were copying from Windows 11, the source was these directories or files, right? Now, if you want to copy from your remote server, source becomes our remote server destination, which is this one, right? So first you need to give code bind at the rate, uh, IP address, then the destination, and then forward slash the name of your file, which is test.txt, right? And then destination becomes whatever folder in your local computer you want to uh, copy this file to, right? So let's say I want to copy this file to this current folder itself, which is the pictures folder, I can just give dot here. So just write dot here and then press enter and give password once again. Then your file will be copied from your remote server to the current directory in which you are currently present in. So when I do ls once again, I can see this test.txt file. And when I will open this file, for, for example, when I go to my pictures folder, this file is there. When I open this, it has hello world inside it, right? So this is how you can copy from your remote machine to your local machine, right? So this is how you can transfer files and folders between your Windows 11 operating system and your remote server. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.